Sweeping down upon the underworld to smash gangland comes the mysterious, all-powerful character who is a problem to the police, but a crusader for law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone, but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. As the Blue Beetle, he hides behind a strange mask and a suit of impenetrable blue chain armor, flexible as silk, but stronger than steel. Today's transcribed episode of the Fox feature, The Blue Beetle, is the second part of the story entitled The Dancing Ghosts of Rocky Hill. In the previous episode, The Blue Beetle, through the personal column of the Chronicle, receives a call for aid from the new heiress at haunted Grey Crags Manor at Rocky Hill. Rumor has it that on moonlit nights, ghostly figures dance in the ballroom of Grey Crags Manor. The heiress, a young girl, Rosalie Greenhold, and her maiden aunt are closely guarded by two persons, a man called Spider, who serves as coachman, and a man with a club foot who claims to have been gatekeeper for the late owner, Nathaniel Greenhold. Entering the manor at midnight, the Blue Beetle talks secretly with Rosalie Greenhold. As the episode ended, the Blue Beetle was investigating the dancing ghost phenomenon when a trap door suddenly opened in front of him and he was catapulted into a deep dungeon. As our story opens today, a Mr. Jasper, attorney for the estate, is talking with Blackie, whom the police suspect of being a desperate criminal. Oh, look, Blackie, suppose you let me handle this situation. After all, I'm the attorney for old man Greenhold's estate and sole executor of the will. But the girl, Jasper, the girl, she'll have the cops on our necks. I can handle her. But something's got to be done to keep her quiet. After all, she got a message through to the Blue Beetle and... and... he's lying at the bottom of the pit where pirates used to throw their victims. But is he dead? Oh, the chances are his neck's broken, thanks to the spider. But suppose he ain't dead or injured. Well, he's securely locked in. Double locks and an iron door. Well, I'll feel better if I went out and had a look for myself. Well, that's all right, but uh, do it under cover of darkness. What about the girl? I'll fake a message from the Blue Beetle and see that she gets it. She'll think he escaped and is coming back. That'll keep her quiet for a few days until you can move your plates and presses to some other location. They've been there long enough. The place is getting hot. Someone's going to get wise to those phony ghosts and start investigating. Mm, that's right. But by the terms of Nathaniel Greenhold's will, his niece, Rosalie, must live at the manor until she's 21. And if she don't? Then the whole estate, including a fortune in stocks and bonds, goes to charity. With you as executor of the estate, it'll be slim pickings for charity. I see. We understand each other. You've shared your counterfeiting profits with me. I'll share the estate with you. You get your counterfeiting equipment away from there, and we'll put on a haunted house campaign that will scare Rosalie Greenhold and her old maid aunt clear out of the state. Now, just one key left to try. None of the others will fit. Ah, there. That's got it. Lucky I landed on my feet in this pit. No. The Blue Beetle's free of his prison. Hope no one heard me. I'd like to catch whoever's running this show off guard. There's a door. I'll try that. Hmm. A stone stairway and a light at the top of it. Well, here goes. Careful. I say, Black, he's taking an awful chance keeping this place as headquarters. Yeah. It was okay for turning out this kind of dough until that dame came to live here. Them dancers upstairs throwing shatters on the windows sure scared folks away from this place. Here. Pile these bills in the suitcase with the others. Okay. Well, I'll take it. It's probably club foot down the gate. Hello? Yeah, Spider's here. Just a minute. That's for you, Spider. Yeah. Hello. What? Blackie says dismantled the press? Yes, yes. What? Good, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I got you. Huh? Deliver the fake do re to the laundry in Hastings 
When I take the girl and her aunt for a drive in the morning. So that's how it's done. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, the Blue Beetle will spoil that little game. But first, I'll have a look upstairs and see what makes the ghosts dance. took your aunt's place on the drive this morning because I wanted to have a talk with you, Rosalie. What about? I don't think you trust me, my dear. Why should I? I'm not permitted to have friends at the manor nor to visit outside places alone. Those were your uncle's orders, Rosalie. After all, he wanted to protect you from fortune-hunting men and social parasites who might take advantage of your trusting nature when you came into your fortune. But what about all those strange goings-on at the manor? Why, last night something terrible happened at... Oh, well, what, oh. what, what about last night? What happened? Oh, I... I shouldn't have said anything. Now, is there something you've been keeping from me, Rosalie? After all, your uncle trusted me. Why shouldn't you? Well, last night, the Blue Beetle... The Blue Beetle? Why, now, that's very interesting, because I clipped this out of the paper this morning. You may be the Rosalie this was addressed to. Now, here, read it. To Rosalie. Had strange experience last night with ghosts, but am safe now. Advise you leave Manor as soon as possible. Signed, the Blue Beetle. Oh, I knew I was right. That terrible place. I won't stay there another night. Well, here we are at the laundry, Mr. Jasper. Shall I take the bag of wash in, sir? Yes, I'll take it in. Uh, uh, but be sure to get a receipt, Spider. Yes, sir. Uh, just a moment there. I'd like to have a look at that bag. Now, what's the idea of this? Who are you? I'm the sheriff of East Chester County. I've had a telephone call to be on the lookout for you folks. Why, well, this is an outrage. We're respectable citizens. This young lady is the owner of Gray Craig's Manor, and I'm I'm her attorney. Oh, well, then you won't mind my looking into this suitcase to make sure it's full of dirty clothes and not... Spider, Spider, yes, drive yes. on. We'll right. not stand for this outrage. Touch those horses, and I'll touch this trigger. Now, have a look in that suitcase. Hmm, money, counterfeit. The Blue Beetle was right. My Blue, Blue Beetle? Beetle? Yes, the Blue Beetle. He phoned me an hour ago. Mr. Jasper, what does this mean? Well, uh, why, somebody must have switched suitcases on us. Well, this is a frame-up. Oh, is that so? Well, I'd say you two were in a tough spot. Well, now, I, I demand to see your warrant, Sheriff. I stand on my constitutional rights. As a practicing attorney, my advice to you is... As a practicing sheriff, my advice to you, Mr. Attorney, is... Get a good lawyer. Clubfoot's on the phone, Blackie. Okay. Hello? What? The ghosts are dancing up at Grey Crags. But it's only midday. Where's Spider? All right, phone up to Slim and tell him to stop the dancers. What? What's that? Slim doesn't answer. Something's gone haywire. You lock the gate and stand guard. I'll be out there pronto. Goodbye. I wonder where Slim is. I don't know. Ain't nobody around. Well, somebody shut off the mechanism of the dancing ghosts. Yeah. We better have our gats ready. You follow me and keep your eyes open. here. I don't see no one. Something about this business don't smell right to me. Look at that closet there. Someone may be hiding. Easy now. Look! Slim, bound and gagged. I wonder who done this, Blackie. The Blue Beetle. The Blue Beetle. Yes, the Blue Beetle. Save your bullets. I'll take that gun, Blackie. Oh, no, you won't, Blue Beetle. Oh, yes, I will. That takes care of Mr. Blackie. Now, oh, Mr. Clubfoot, I hate to sock a cripple, but drop that gun or I'll... Okay, Blue Beetle, you win. Well, that's better. I'll just tie you up for safekeeping. The police will need you. What for? The cops ain't got nothing on me. Perhaps not. But I'm sure they'll want you to demonstrate those mechanical dancing dolls upstairs. 
and threw ghostly shadows on the windows of the old ballroom. Sorry I can't stay for the final curtain, but I'll read about it in tomorrow's papers. The Blue Beetle's job is done. The dancing ghost of Rocky Hills will dance no more at Gray Crag's Manor. And so another gang of criminals was rounded up and brought to justice by the Blue Beetle. But Officer Manigan couldn't make the arrest because of being laid up with poison ivy. The moral of this story is deception can never win for long. Truth will always triumph in the end. Also, as Officer Manigan would say, stay away from poison ivy. What new adventures await the Blue Beetle in his unceasing crusade against crime? This question will be answered in the next transcribed episode of The Blue Beetle. copyrighted Fox feature, appearing in Mystery Men Comics magazine and the Blue Beetle magazine. The Blue Beetle is on the air twice a week on this same station. Consult the broadcast schedule in your local newspapers. And don't forget to listen in to The Blue Beetle.